want to retire. Today in Michigan, at the same moment that Congressman Stupak was announcing his retirement, a Tea Party was happening. And Griff Jenkins was covering the Tea Party. What did he hear? Griff Jenkins joins us right now in Michigan. Griff. Hey, Greta. Well, what we heard and saw was about a thousand Tea Party activists celebrating and claiming credit for bringing an end to Congressman Stupak's long and illustrious 18 year career in Washington. Now, here in Marquette, as you alluded to earlier, the congressman said he wasn't pushed out of this race. But where we were about an hour and a half south in Escanaba, also part of Congressman Stupak's district, we saw the Tea Party Express crowd saying that they felt they got their money's worth out of the $250,000 ad blitz and uh, radio spots they played and that it yielded pretty significant results. The Tea Party pressure brought here against Congressman Stupak, is this a leaping uh, point for you? I mean, do you feel that your movement is now emboldened because of what has happened? Is there a message? And, and where are you going with this next? I, I think we just pounded uh, the first nail into Nancy Pelosi's speakership. And by the time we're through with this tour, we hope to have the lid completely shut. Did the health care vote, Congressman Stupak leading the block of votes, was that the straw for you? Or was yes, it, it was. Else? It broke my heart. It truly did. So you guys decided you'd come out and go against the grain here at the Tea Party? Uh, I think it's our responsibility to stand up for what we feel is, is right, uh, just as Bart Stupak did. Now, I don't agree with every item on his platform. Um, however, I appreciate the fact that, as I said, he put his own issues aside for what he felt was a benefit to the country as a whole. What's your reaction to the news, Congressman Stupak? Step in the south. It's time. It's, it's time. I'm, and I'm here because this is my son, and I'm worried about his children, and I want my grandchildren to have the future that my father gave to me, and I hope I gave to him. A lot of the folks here say that uh, Congressman Stupak uh, betrayed their will. Is that accurate? Well, c clearly, uh, he went against what the people of his district wanted. Uh, you know, he, he'd worked for 18 years trying to cultivate this district, and they put their trust in him, and, and he let him down. I think this is a great example of, uh, of a big victory for the Tea Party. It shows what can happen when we uh, make a, a, a local issue real big and national and uh, put a spotlight on it, uh, especially in the, in the case of Stu Pack, where he has betrayed you know, his American people and, and as well his own constituents. Um, so the fact that, that he recognized that himself and, and realized he was no longer fit to represent the people here in the Upper Peninsula is just great news. Greta, the congressman said in his press conference that he felt he had accomplished one of his biggest goals, getting that health care legislation through. It had been on his pamphlet in one of his earliest uh, uh, campaigns. Our colleague Steve Brown sat down with uh, Congressman Stupak and asked him about the Tea Party claiming credit for uh, taking his career away from. Here's what he had to say about that. Whenever I decide to leave. There'd always be some group who drove me out or scared me out, you know, or the Republican Party did it. You know, it's, it's that's part of politics. I, I have no problem with that. If anything, I just made the Tea Party people spend a lot of money that wasn't necessary on all these ads and have to run in against me, so they can't use it on somebody else. So I'll take credit and suck in their treasury drive. Well, you know, talking to people up here in the Upper Peninsula, and this first congressional district, Greta, is a very big one. The Youpers, as they're known, seem to like them. It may be that that health care vote was too much volatility to bear. Now, the Tea Party Express, it'll go through its Michigan swing. There are two more stops in uh, this district and then a few others uh, south of here. It's going to work its way towards Boston, where on the 14th, Sarah Palin, uh, former Alaska Governor Sarah Palin, will join the Tea Party Express again, and then they'll end up in Washington, on tax day on the 15th where we'll check in and see what they're up to and who they're going after next. Uh, we're going to be watching here in Washington uh, April 15th, of course, a day that we all know so very well. Griff, uh, enjoy the Upper Peninsula, and uh, we'll see you back in Washington soon. Thank you, Griff. Thank you. Next, will there be a political board?